Yes boys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and your Everton career mode here on FIFA 22. Wow, where do I start? Okay, short and sharp. In the last episode, we received a big offer in from Real Sociedad for Calvert-Lewin. But it didn't match a fee I'd be willing to accept. So, I didn't really want to sell Calvert-Lewin, but I wanted to test the waters and see what they were willing to pay. So, I put a number out there. Towards 100 million, I said. Maybe just under, and I'd potentially accept the deal. They come back and said they're happy to pay 99.7 million pounds. So, basically 100 million for DCL, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And we had a conundrum. One that I couldn't decide with on my own. So it was down to you guys. I put a community vote out on the community tab on the channel. And I left it a few days so I could gauge where we're at. And it was an absolute landslide. Guys, you voted very clearly. It is time to sell Dominic Calvert-Lewin. For that fee, we're going to go ahead and accept the deal. 99.7 million. Bye-bye. Albert Lewin, massive decision made by you lot. And then I said to you guys to get in the comments of the previous video as well on if we was to sell him, who would be your preferred replacements? There were a lot of players down there. So I've handpicked a few of the comments and uh, shortlisted those guys. Let's jump over now and have a look at who could replace this man. Okay then boys, here we are. This is the transfer list and it has huge names in it. Any one of these players would be fabulous for the career mode, so I'm super excited to nail this down to just a few and make a final decision as well. Once the Calvert-Lewin deal goes through, one of these boys will be coming in. So here we go. First on the list then is Jao Felix. What a young player he is, touted around the footballing world as the next big thing. At the age of 22, he's already had one huge move to Atletico Madrid. Maybe he fancies his chances here at Everton in the Premier League. He is one brilliant option. Now this one, this comment was left and it's got quite a few likes on it. It seems that you guys are hot on this one and I love this idea as well. I have to admit to you. It would be Richarlison out on the left, Rafinha on the right and Gabriel Jesus through the middle. That would mean we would have a Brazilian trio as our front line and that to me sounds incredible. Jesus is definitely on my list. Moving down, some guy said maybe it's time to bring in Lewandowski. Obviously, last summer, he actually tried to get away from Bayern and we're expecting him to do the same in the coming summer, summer window. So Lewandowski, he wants out of Bayern. Does he want in though to Everton at the age of 33? We'll have to wait and find out. Martial, another player that... Oh, guys, I mean, what can we say? When he first joined United, we all thought, oh, dear, Man United have just signed one of the hottest players in the world. If you remember, he was actually higher rated than Mbappe. People thought Martial was going to be the next big thing. It ended up being Mbappe who was the next big thing, and Martial's kind of divvered around. He hasn't really proved how good he can be. In this career mode, he's at Borussia Dortmund, so we'd have to go get him off of them, but we know Dortmund love to sell players if they get that sweet, sweet cash. Moving down the list, Alexander Isaac was suggested, but you can see he's at Real Sociedad, so that would have been Calvert-Lewin to them and Isaac to us. That would have made quite a good amount of sense, to be fair. He's already moved, and that is clearly where they've got their money from to replace him with. He's moved on to Benfica. Strange move for him to move to the Portuguese league when he could have gone to a bigger league and probably a bigger club. No offense, Benfica fans. So he will be removed immediately and then we go to the bottom of the list then and Timo Werner when he joined Chelsea as well everybody was talking about how clinical he was how deadly this man will be in the Premier League and he's been anything but that the guy has had so many chances to get goals on his sheet so many chances that he's missed I don't know is it a thing at Chelsea has he got a bit of a hoodoo or is he just not good enough I don't think he's the man for this career mode I'm going to remove him and I'm also going to make an impulse decision here. I just don't vibe Martial for this team. So it is down to these three. Felix, Jesus, and Lewandowski. We'll be back here soon to make our final decision. But first, we need to make sure that Calvert-Lewin, his deal needs to go through because we're going to need those funds to make the move happen. We're two days away now from a game against Tottenham. We may have to do it 
without a star striker. Okay, we've had no email in. I don't want to risk Albert Lewin's injury. So, he will come out. Wilkinson will come in. And he will actually drop completely out of the team. And Sims will come on to the bench for us. And this will be the team then. So, nothing decided yet. Things could still collapse. Things could go right. Things could go wrong. Next up, though. Fingers crossed that this can go right. We drew our first game of the season 0-0. It was a bit of a stinker. Fingers crossed today. We can beat Spurs. Oh, dear. Kane! What a save by Jordan Pickford. Harry Kane looked out there. He saw Pickford in a decent position. Little far over to his left. And Pickford scrambling across. Gets his hands to it and makes the save against the England captain, Harry Kane. The England striker versus the England keeper there. Kessie's on the ball. Son, he's got to be offside, surely. He's not offside. Clearly our high line or our low line isn't stepping up. Hermoso into Kane and Palmer. Saved again by Pickford. We are desperate for a new striker in this team. We do not look like we're going to score for a month. Without a new striker, we are desperate to get them deals over the line. My goodness me, we're going to struggle for goals without a striker. Wow. Kane again. I'm really struggling, lads. Really am. There we go. Tottenham 1, Everton 0. We are desperate for a striker. We just feel toothless. We don't look dangerous at all. We've got such good players in the team. Richarlison, Rafinha, Wurz, Van der Beek, Deli Alley on the bench. We just cannot score at the minute. Two games into the season, a 0-0 draw and we're 1-0 down here. And I just don't feel like we're ever going to score. I need a dangerous striker. I really need a dangerous striker. Hewin Sun gets his second of the season. And Tottenham lead here at home. 1-0. Just a tad worried. Wilkinson, he's a young man with a lot of growth to come. That's a good looking ball though. I said we didn't look dangerous, but we nearly scored there. Wow, one chance, nearly one goal. We nearly nicked a leveller just before half time. By God, we do not deserve that, but we nearly did it. Richarlison coming very close as Palmer goes straight past Mikalenko there. He's got to do a bit better against young Cole Palmer. Hoiberg on it for Tottenham as we approach that 45 minute mark. Spurs ending the half, the better team. We've won it there. Can we maybe get a counter attack going? This is Florian Verts. Gonna hold on to it. I want Rafinha to make a run. He's making it. It's not a great run though, is it? Wilkinson's on the ball here. He's gonna turn on it. Still with the young man. Wilkinson! Wow! Now we look a little threatening. The game opens up a little bit. And we nearly get ourselves a goal there. Wilkinson, the young youth academy player, leaving bodies on the ground. He's a good player. He's not first team quality yet. We need a new striker for sure, but he's decent. Ball in the box. Could we nick it? Oh! What an end to the first bloody half! We have not looked good in attack. But we've scored from a late, late corner. Tottenham won't be happy. Over additional time in the first half. A corner comes in and Botman rises highest. Boom! Heads it home. Ya beauty! Get in there! Tottenham won. Everton won. And we have a new striker on our minds. On our minds! Get in there! Great header, son. Love to see it. And now the referee will blow his whistle for half time. Come on! Rafinha on the ball, still searching for his first goal in a blue shirt. Alan on towards Florian. Verts! Yes, boys! A goal again after half time. The second half. We can't have played that much of the second half. It doesn't feel that way anyway. Not sure how long he's on the clock, but we have another goal. I said we were lacking for goals at one point. All of a sudden, Spurs being Spursy. And giving up a lead and giving us chances from out of nowhere. We're 2-1 up inside. 56 minutes. Ah, Regulon's got so much pace. He's done me there. Harry Kane into Kessie. Kessie high up the pitch. Tries the back heel to Kane. But Alan was there and defending like he should be. This is a good ball. That's nice. Can we get it out to Richarlison? Lovely. Into Wilkinson. Turn on it. Get a shot away. Oh! Okie 
donkey then. I retract my statement. This young man is ready for the first team in the Premier League. Wow, what a finish that is. What a finish that is. Touch, turn, boom. Woohoo! My striker, my youth academy player, Wilco Wilkinson. Beautiful goal, mate. Beautiful. And he comes off. Van der Beek as well. Gray comes on and Dahoud comes on. So Gray will be playing out on the left. And Richarlison will be up front. 12 minutes left. And uh, surely today we win this one. Spurs, though, done what they always do. Mikalenko, our captain, our Ukrainian captain. Yes, mate. Well done. You're going to lead your team to a win this season. Still undefeated. A 0-0 draw first game. Okay, wasn't the most entertaining. Today was a big win, this one, away from home. And that means we're still undefeated after the first two games, which is a nice thing to say. Because we could have easily come here and bottled it as uh, Damari Gray gives away the ball with a really poor pass. But it didn't matter in the end. Get in there, boys. A watch and away day. The Everton fans at full voice. You wave them flags. You celebrate with your players. The Blues have come here today to North London and put on a good display. Okay, boys, in the post-match press conference, let's see what's thrown away. Anything about Calvert-Lewin? Maybe. Now, they're asking why Klosterman has yet to make his debut for the club. He's settling in at the moment. I went to settle. He will be thrown in, though, shortly. He will not remain out the team for much longer. I think we should definitely bring him into the first team for one of the upcoming few games. I do think we defended really well in the end. We actually looked solid. And that gave us a really good platform to go ahead and attack. And surprisingly, no talk about Calvert-Lewin. Maybe the media are not too wise to this deal as of yet. But they will be, I'm sure, in the next few days. In the next few days, it will become clear if Calvert-Lewin goes, stays. And if we make a replacement sign-in. Guys... Coming next, that could be that time. And there we are, straight after that interview, we have confirmation in our emails. It's gone through 99.7 million, 93 of that given to us. So the board, to be fair, being pretty damn generous, giving us a lot of money. Wilkinson, great performance. 76 overall already, this young player. Carter, Wilkinson, outstanding, son, outstanding. But now... We've got to make a choice. A massive, a massive choice, boys. £182 million in the bank. We could afford multiple strikers, but we don't need them. We're not going to just throw money at things we don't need. That's something Everton have done in real life. Before previous windows, they have definitely thrown money at players they didn't need to and not been wise. We have been wise in this crew mode so far, and we're going to continue to do that. Three choices then. Felix... The youngest out of the lot, probably got the most potential out of the lot. Lewandowski, ready-made to bring him in. No excuses, we should be fighting for the Premier League instantly. But then this guy, he would complete what could be a fantastic, a fantastic all-Brazilian front line. Richarlison, Rafinha and Jesus through the middle. Wow. And that is what's tipping me towards that deal. We can also diminish Man City's squad a little bit because, by God, they need diminishing. Their squad is a joke. We can have an all-Brazilian front line, and that just screams to me money. That screams to me goals. It also screams Premier League champions. I think this could be the deal that tips it in our favour this year. Remember last year, we only finished second behind Liverpool by a few points. The points could be in the hands of Jesus. Right, let's do it boys. Let's make our move for Jesus. I do wonder how much Pep Guardiola is going to want here and here he is. The man, the myth, the legend Pep Guardiola. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think he's the best manager of all time? Or have you got another opinion? Do you think it's maybe Fergie or Wenger or I don't know, there's been a lot of legendary managers. Zidane's done very well in his short management career so far as well. But we're focused on Leachy and this Everton team. So we're going to offer them 
let's say, say 61 million. I think we could get it done for that, to be fair. I think it said they want about 63, but for 61, I think we might be able to get that done. And there we go. It was goddamn easy. 61 million pounds. Pep Guardiola, he's let him go. Was it the right choice or the wrong one? We're going to find out come the end of the season and where the two teams are positioned. It's a big gamble, this, because those two are probably the better players. Probably the more ready to come into this team. But something just screams that this deal is the perfect one. And now we get to welcome Jesus in. Don't be shy. Come and take a seat. You're going from Everton. Sorry. No. And here he is then. Jesus arrives in the office. Time to seal this deal. Now at Man City, you've been in and out of the team for a few years, mate. We see you as a superstar. You are crucial. You'll be leading the line nine out of ten weeks in a row for sure. And that's what he wants. He wants to play every week with Brazilians, Rafinha and Richarlison. He cannot wait to do that. And I can't wait to see that, boys. The Brazilian trio. Wow! A five-year deal for the young man. Taking up to what would be 30, which would be his peak seasons as well. No release clause. We don't want to lose him. And we're going to give him 100... No, do you know what? I'm going to give him 200k a week. And I'm going to also give him 200k to sign. And then if he can do an incredible year and get 20 plus goals, he'll get 600k. That's a massive deal. We're offering him the world. Because to be fair, going from Man City to Everton, that may not float his boat. But with that money and with our project and his Brazilian teammates, I have my fingers crossed that this is going to happen. Jesus! accepts boys thank you very much for your votes and now you can welcome the calvin lewin replacement gabriel jesus here we go then this is it the first impression i can't believe we've done this i'm hyped for this baller to be at this club goodison you're gonna see something special now you're gonna see something Really bloody special. The fans are right behind us for this one. Come on! Go, Rafinha. Use your pace. Lamptey on the overlap. Get it into Verts if you can. Nice. Over to Van der Beek. Yeah, just about. Richarlison. Back to Van der Beek. Who runs onto it and it's blocked because the game loves a fucking block, doesn't it? Doesn't it love a block, eh? Klosterman into Alan. Verts onto Rafinha. Rafinha darting into the box here. Is he taking it off? No, it's still on apparently. This is Verts! Big save. Massive save. Bastard. Bastard. Corner ball. Into the box then from Verts this time. Botman scored a header in the last one. It's going to drop here for Rafinha! What a finish, son! Welcome to Merseyside! Welcome to Everton. Yes, Rafinha. One Brazilian has a goal at Goodison. Can the other get one? Can it be two goals for two of our newest players? Hopefully it can. Get in there, though. Well played, Rafinha. He didn't get it on his debut. It took him a few games. Only three, though. That's a great finish. That's a great goal. And 1-0 today. It's a great scoreline. We crack on, though. We move. Van der Beek. To Richarlison. The Brazilian to the Brazilian. A Brazilian connection. Jesus, let's fly. His first strike. A needed saving. Really good stop. Jesus on it again here. He's got time on the edge. They're giving him time. Shot this time, though, is blocked. Watford giving me a lot of time on the edge of the box. Strange. We're only 1-0 up, though. And there's still time in it for them to get something back. Fingers crossed, though, we can kick on. Saying that, defending is a joke. Oh, God. Why is it so difficult? Well, I find it very difficult on FIFA 22. Because the players just don't close down. You cannot physically control all 11 men. And the computer, when it controls the players for you, it doesn't close anyone down. Saying that, I don't care at the minute because I'm in. Surely, Rafinha. Come on, get another one, mate. Get another. Finish this. Go on. Yes! And Jesus gets an assist. Rafinha at the double. Get in there. It was so nice. He had to do it twice. Rafinha gets his second. Beautiful stuff. 
Really unselfish from Jesus. And he will get some assists in this team as well as goals. He gets one already for Jesus. Into Rafinha. Beauty. 2 0. Bit of space here for Watford to try and create something. No one's closing down. This is really starting to grate on me. Really starting to grate on me. Why do my players stand off so much? Richarlison here. Into Van der Beek. A good looking counter attack potentially here. This is Florian Verts. Good touch past his man. Verts! Oh, I maybe could have laid it off for Jesus. On my left, I went for goal. It's a good save again by Buckman. He's made a few good saves. Ball in though. Oh, he couldn't save that. And that's Klosterman. Is it? It is! Klosterman gets his first goal as an Evertonian and his first start. What a day. What a day it's been so far. That is our third. That away end of Watford now. Crumbling. Couldn't get to it. Great header. Great leap. 3-0. This could be a battering of Watford. Too much space, too much space. Why is no one closing the ball? Down! Woo. You lot really do wind me up when you do that. You literally stand there and let them shoot. Delhi Ali, who's come on off the bench. Get that threaded through towards uh, Jesus. Hasn't worked out, but he's got it here, Jesus. Jesus! Made that out of nothing. It looked like the attack had broken down with a bad pass. But he dials it up and rings it in. A goal on his debut. Our new number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Wow. What a front line. And all of a sudden, it is just clicking, click, 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 clicking all over the pitch. Yes. So happy. So happy with that decision. Great finish. What a great day at Goodison. Four goals. Three of the goal scorers are new players. Brilliant. Actually, no. All three, yeah, all three goal scorers are new players. All four goals have come from new players. Two for Rafinha, one Klosterman, and one Jesus. That is perfect. We could be on for another here. If I can pick this ball out over the top towards Jesus, who goes for it and drops the Delhi. Ali! <gasps> we are just now waiting for that full-time whistle. Watford, though, looking to pull one back. And they nearly did. I want the clean sheet today. That would have been a little bit disappointing. Pickford, though, making another really good save. He's having a good start to this season. Pickford comes out, collects. Brilliantly done. And that ensures that clean sheet. There we go then, lads. Today's game ends 4-0. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't have asked this game to go any better. Four goals. None conceded. All the goal scorers from our new players. Two for Rafinha. One Klosterman. And one at the end there from Jesus. Excellent performance. And this team is looking really good. Really good. He had seven attempts in the end, Jesus. In the end, he did get his goal. He got one of them. Okay then, boys, confirmed. Virginia has left the club, so that's another player off the wage bill, and we are now into deadline day, as you can see, with 10 hours to go. Not expecting any incomings. Maybe a few outgoings, if we can get them over, but I just wanted to have a little look at the top deals then. So, Holland has gone to Real Madrid. Oh, 234 bloody million. Calvert-Lewin be one of the top deals, 99.7 to Real Sociedad. So she had again sent to Benfica for 83.7. Milinkovic Savage has gone to Barca for 73.6. Pau Torres to Spurs for 71. Osmian over there then for 63. I think Bergamo Casio is Atlanta, maybe. And Jesus to us for 61 million. I'm sure there was even more big deals that went through. But deadline day is the focus. 10 hours to go. And we're counting down. An offer in then, halfway through, five hours to go from Braga. And who the hell knows where they've got their money from. But they've got 45.9 million to try and spend on a keeper, apparently, on deadline day. Jordan Pickford, though, is not for sale. Get on your bike. Get out of here. He's our number one. He's England's number one. And he's staying put at Everton. Clocking down there now into the final knockings of the window. All right, then, boys, the window is officially shut. All done and dusted. After three games this season, the two teams that have the 100% record 
are Liverpool, unfortunately. And Wolves, who've had a good start. Three wins from three from both of those guys. And they're leading the pack. We're just behind on seven points, along with Leicester and Fulham. Decent then. Still unbeaten in the opening three. Next game, they'll be coming up. Who have we got then in match week four? Whew, that's a tough one. And we get a oh, classic. This is classic FIFA. We get an offer in after the bloody window. Why? We would have accepted that as well. We'll accept it now. And Kunku can go. He can go to Reading down in the championship. And uh, we have Man City next. Jesus returning to the Etihad. Jao Concello on the ball. What a wing back he has become. Wow. What a player. Mahrez as well. Getting better and better with age, it seems. I thought his peak years would have been in that Leicester team. <sighs> but no. He's getting better and better at Man City. And he's only going to get better probably from here on out as well. Could be on for a little attack here. Oh, oh my goodness me, please. Oh, no. Jesus was in. He got a shot away. He took it probably a little too wide of the goal. Give the advantage to Edison, the other Brazilian, in goal for City. Big save. Big chance as well for us and for Jesus. Ball in. Didn't jump for it for some reason. Alan controls it nicely. Botman. Can't lose it there, mate. Oh, my... F Jesus Christ, man. That's about 45 minutes to make the pass. Cancelo now on the ball. Man City going to come streaming forward again down this side. This is their favoured side at the minute in this game. Still with Cancelo. Good tackle, Van der Beek. Don't leave it, both of you. Well done, Jesus. Into Florian Verts here. Going to look to get it in towards Richarlison. One Brazilian who didn't score in the last episode. Oh, my God. Sorry, the last game even against Watford. Didn't score there either. Big save by Edison again. Still nil-nil. Luis Alberto on the ball here for City. Not passing it. Holding on onto it for quite a while. But he's got it into Rodri now. Onto De Bruyne. Oh, my God. Bernardo Silva plans the false nine. Luis Alberto again. Well done this time from Van der Beek. In towards Burt. I'm going to set away Jesus. That is a beautiful ball. Is he just onside? He is just onside here, Jesus. Still with Jesus. In towards Richardson. Hit it first time. Oh, my God. Come on, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Richarlison. That is poor, dude. So poor. Come on, Lamptey. Get out to him, please. Nice. Well defended, Lamptey. Love that. Can we counter again? We're hitting them on the counter quite a lot here. Knock this over the top. All right, Jesus, this is your moment. This is your moment now. No excuses. Jesus! No excuses! Needed! Jesus calls in another goal for his new club, Everton, against his old club, Man City, at the Etihad. Wow! Brilliant! I'm buzzing with that. Buzzing with that. Beautiful finish, mate. Two appearances for us. Two goals. He scored one already this season for City. Wow! What a player we've got. What a team we've got. Could we really do it this year? Could we win the Premier League? Jesus into Van der Beek. Back towards Jesus. Get it out wide. Just about. Rafinha takes on his man. Can he get a good delivery? It's a good delivery as well. Oh, it's two. It is two. It's Donny van der Beek. A double blow for City. Two nil down. A goal from their former man, Jesus. And then the former Man United man, Donny van der Beek. Beautiful delivery by Rafinha. Great, great header. From Van der Beek. Oh God. 2-0. Oh God. Don't tell me because I put my controller down. I've just pissed this up. Why did I do that? I was celebrating too long. What a dickhead. Why did I do that? That is all on me. That is my fault. Oh my God. How... Stupid, am I? Bro. Bro! Why did I put the controller down? Jesus, man. What are you doing? 
think, think, think. Oh my god, such a foolish goal to give. And to such a good team, it's 2-1. Such a stupid thing to do. Kevin De Bruyne, City starting strong in this second half. Oh, I've got a bad feeling. Oh, my God. Alberta. Oh, he's offside, surely. He's not. He's onside. He's onside, and he's bloody done it. I hate playing against Man City on this game, especially Bernardo Silva. Such a dick. 2-2. Two -two. <coughs> wow, losing my voice, losing my hope, losing my belief. Can't believe that. So simple, man. Like, look at that defending. It's so shit. So bad. Play it. Oh, I'm not going to keep saying it. We all know it. The passing on FIFA 22 sucks. And the marking. Oh, it's sickening. Sterling inside. De Bruyne. Man City's play really opening us up. Good block by Klosterman. And now it's Jesus to maybe do a bit of work on his own. That touch is shit. Why is it my players are taking such bad touches? My players are taking such terrible first touches and I don't know why. Man City's touch is like perfect. Look at that. Foden on the ball. Lamptey trying to deal with him. Can't get the ball off of him. Jao Cancelo. Luis Alberto. Why is no one closing down? Again. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It's making me lose my mind. Oh my god. They are wide open. They are wide open. Wide open. Jesus, get in the box, mate. Finish it, mate. Yes, mate. Yes. Jesus on the counter. Oh, this game is going to give me a heart attack. My God, this is taking a lot of energy out of me today, this match. 3-2. What a bloody Premier League game we've got. Brazilian to Brazilian again. How many times are we going to say it throughout the season? I guarantee a lot. Good finish. Yes. 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 3-2. Our way end is absolutely electric. They're trying to get their voices heard over this Capacity City crowd. They're trying to will this Everton team on to what would be a historic win at the Etihad. A really good opportunity to lay down an early marker as a serious contender in this league. But City are not giving up. This is Phil Foden. Lamptey defends brilliantly well. Inside to Van der Beek. Outside to Rafinha. Can we get another counter-attack on here? Still with Rafinha. Inside. 1-2. That's not the pass I wanted. It's finished. Oh, he's onside! I thought he was off! It's game, set, match for Everton. My reaction was not there. I thought he was off. Yes. Yes, boys. Verts gets it. The goal that kills it. Rafinha, inside. This is where I thought Verts was off. He must have been borderline onside there. Borderline. Touch, swivel. No doubt about it. Beautiful finish. Get in. Four bloody two at the Etihad. That must be game over as Verts comes off. Van der Beek comes off as well. Wow! What a day. 4-2. Oh, what a flick on that was. Headed over by Foden. Flicked on by Carver Howe. Now De Bruyne on it as we enter towards the 90th minute into additional time. Carver Howe. Sterling Carver Howe! Brilliant start by Jordan Pickford to stop it from going 4-3 with a few minutes still to play. You never know. You never know. Got to defend this corner. Get it away. Mikalenko heads it, but only for a second Man City corner. We are hanging on a little bit at the moment. We don't want to concede a third. We don't want to give them any chance now. Surely this is it. Referee, look at your watch. Referee, look at your watch. Put your whistle in your bloody mouth and blow it, please. Oh, my God. Piss off. Piss off now. Sterling, honest, yeah, just, yeah. Okay. Bruh. Bro! Whew. I'm so happy we scored that fourth because that would have pissed me off. Ref, blow your whistle now. Thank you very much. You can have three goals. We will have 
three points, Everton, this season. We're not going to go close to the Premier League. We are going the entire way. This is our year, boys. This is our year. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You see that graphic. You know what that means. It is time for the UEFA Champions League. That is coming in your next episode, boys. We will start off our Champions League road. Our road to potential glory in the Champions League as well. Our first game in it against European specialist Sevilla. What an episode it's been today. Some huge moments. Some huge changes. And I hope you enjoy them. Leave a comment down below. I love to chat to you guys in the comment section. So let me know of your thoughts on today's episode and this career mode so far. Please smash that like button. That's the best thing you can do to support my channel. It seriously helps. Really appreciate those likes, guys. And if you're new, if you enjoyed it, subscribe. It's free. Why not? Until next time, guys. You all take it very easy. And peace.